talk, take time to talk about Palm Sunday. And I'm going to talk from Palm Sunday to Good Friday. Using the subject this morning, reaccounting the words that Jesus spoke from the cross. Amen? Amen. Reaccounting the words that Jesus spoke from the cross. I know this is a little unusual to cover all this on Palm Sunday, but because we uh, will not have a Good Friday service, we need to be reminded of these events. Amen? As you look around the world today, we see that we seem to be suffering on every side, but God is still with us. Yes. We have read... Uh, we have uh, read that that, is, that 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 this is Palm Sunday, when a great multitude spread their garments in the way. Amen. Others cut down branches from trees and placed them in the way. There were those who followed, shouting Hosanna in the highest, as he rode a donkey into Jerusalem. Uh, they gave him a hero's welcome. But they failed to understand. He did not enter Jerusalem or Palm Sunday to restore the kingdom of David. But he entered to establish his kingdom in the hearts of men. It was a long, hard week from Palm Sunday to Good Friday. Many events took place. Those that were praising him was now ready to kill him. That's the way we are today. They'll praise you today and kill you tomorrow. As we move from Palm Sunday to Good Friday, we face an event that represents the darkest deed in all humanity history, the crucifixion of Jesus. With this in mind, one might ask the question, what is good about Good Friday? On that day, God provided the death of his love for us. Is that right? On that day, the Son of God laid his life upon the cross. And we can see that love as we listen to his words from the cross. In Luke 23, 34, he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The first and basic need of humanity is forgiveness. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Therefore, all stand in the need of forgiveness. Do you stand in the need of forgiveness? I do. Amen. Hanging on the cross, Jesus had only love for his persecutors and those responsible for crucifying him. Now, that's what love is. Amen. In Luke 23, 43. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Jesus was upon a cross. With him there were two thieves, one on the right and one on the left. Uh, these thieves were being crucified, amen? One on the right and one on the left. One of them said, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. The other recognized the Lord and he asked to be remembered when Jesus came into his kingdom. Jesus said, you shall be remembered in, with me in paradise. This word says many things. First, it says that no matter what we have been or what we've done, Christ will forgive. It also says that no matter how black our circumstances Jesus has the power to turn our darkness into light. In John 19, 26 to 27, Jesus says, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciples, behold your mother. You see, Jesus speaks these words as he looks at his mother. His word gives us the assurance that there is love at the cross. In Matthew 27, 46, he says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? This word is expressions of loneliness. Many of us have experienced loneliness and despair. Times when it seems that God has forsaken us. 
We just had to cry out to him. But I want you to notice what Jesus did. He did not yield to the mood of bitterness. He did not surrender to the spirit of defeat. Mm. Even in this fourth word from the cross, there is evidence of the uncompromising faith. Notice, my brothers and sisters, what Jesus did in the moment when he felt forsaken. He prayed, my God, my God. It was a prayer of desperation, mm. but it was a prayer. The truth is that we are never alone. God is always nearer than we know and closer than we think. John 19, 28 gives the word as I thirst. It is interesting to me, my brothers and sisters, that the fourth gospel, the most spiritual of them all, is the only one that records this expression of physical need. It is interesting to note that it was only when he felt his work was finished that he allowed himself to turn attention from his case, or from his cause, and from those about him to his own need. Amen? Yeah. Spoken from the cross, the Savior word, I thirst, represents the cry of a universal need. Yes, we need physical water, but there is a greater need, and that need is spiritual refreshment mm. for our dying souls. Christ himself brings the cool, soul-satisfying water that gives new life. Words from the cross in John 19.30, the words are recorded as it is finished. Mm -hmm. Jesus had completed the work that his father had sent him to do. It is finished. A few hours later, before Jesus was crucified, he said in a presley prayer, I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. It is finished. All has been fulfilled. The whole debt of our sin is paid. The plan of redemption is, plain, is paid. This is the message of the cross. It is finished. Luke 23, 46 says, Father, unto thy hands mm. that I commit my spirit which was the final word. Church, we can say like Paul, I take pleasure in my infirmities and reproach of necessities for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then thou art strong. Can we be determined like Paul who planted his footsteps on the sands, on the sands of time, decided his all to the furnace of the kingdom of heaven, and God has interpreted by Jesus. I can hear him saying that I've been stoned, but I am determined. I've been chased out of town, but I am determined. I've been beaten with rods, but I am determined. I've been led over a wall in a basket, but I am determined. I have been put in dungeons but and behind prison walls. I've been hauled before majesties, mm. face kings, but I am determined. With his affliction, how could he be so determined? It was God's grace. Mm. It was God's grace, God's significant grace. God will not allow always more mountains. He will not always cure the pain. But I tell you this morning, that he's a God of grace. Oh, yes. So sufficient that one day he went to the cross. Mm. Power in his hands. Mm. The grace of God through God. So I made up my mind as I get ready to close. I want to thank God for his word. I want to thank him that we belong to him. As a preacher, I made up my mind I'm going to preach as long as the blood is running well in my veins. Yes, I got to tell you, I know the Lord of Lords. I know that he is the King of Kings. Ezekiel says that he's the wheel in the middle of a wheel. Yes, yes. He's the bright and the morning star. He's the lily yes. of the valley. Hey. He's the balm yes. of Gilead. Yes, yes. He's the rock 
He's Alpha and Omega. Yes, yes, Lord. He's the first mm, and the last. My God, my so God. So my brothers and sisters, for Christians, this message from the cross is that we can face any circumstances, mm. even death, with confident trust. If our lives are lived in the setting and commitment of God mm. and his will. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, let this day and every day be that one which is commit our own spirits into the hands of the Lord. I don't know about you this morning, but I thank God that I heard the message, mm. that I have accepted the message, that I know that these events are real. It is real that God sent his son to this earth to pay our sin debt. Yes, that yes. the son of Jesus Christ My God. died on an old rugged cross, mm. was buried in a buried tomb, Jesus, Jesus. rose on the third day oh, yes. with all powers in his hand. All power. I thank God for that power because it is the power that I am saved. Yes, yes, it is yes. because of that power I love those who I love those who are against me. Yes, yes. It is because of that power that, that keeps power. me when I'm weak. Yes, The yes. message from the cross is not all but one about death, but it is about the life that God has given Oh, us. yes, yes, yes. So I made up my mind to tell the story in season. Oh, yes. And out of season. Hallelujah. I tell you to hold on to God's hold unchanging on. name. He says, one day I'm coming back oh, for my yes. church. I'm coming back for the church without spot or rank. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm coming back for those that have been washed. Woo! Jesus. In the blood of the Lamb. Oh, yes. Those that are saved, sanctified, saved, my God. and filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord. You pray for them that mm. despite for you. Yes, yes. Pray for them that curse you. Yes. And God says, I'll fight your battle. Yes, he will. Grandmama used to say he's a battle act. Yes, yes. In the time of trouble. Woo! So I pray that you continue to hold on. Hold on. To God's unchanging. Yes, hands yes. Until he comes back. And take us on home to glory. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm striving for perfection. Mm. I tell my members all the time, we're just sick people. Yes, in yes. In a hospital trying to get well. Trying to get well. But one day when God one tells day. Gabriel to sound the trumpet. Yes, Lord. The Bible says that the dead in Christ shall oh, rise yes. on our way to the third hill. Ooh, Lord. I don't know about you, but I mm. want to look him in the face. Yes, Lord. I want to hear him say, servant of servant God. Servant of God. Job well done. Well done. You ran the race. Yes. You finished your course. Oh, yes. Now come on up a little higher. Woo, Lord. And I'll make you ruler My God. over many things. Mm. So we pray that this message will help you today. Yes, as yes. As you get ready for next Sunday. Mm. And remember, Easter Sunday, next Sunday is not about the Easter age. Yes, yes. It's about Jesus. Oh, yes. So we must tell the story. Oh, yes. To boys, girls, women, men everywhere. Yes, Lord. That the wages of sin is death. Oh, yes. But the gift of the God. The gift of God. Is eternal life. Eternal life. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Our Father and our God. Lord, we come with our head bowed. Yes, Lord. We come with our hearts humble. My God. We come with thanksgiving upon our lips, mm. thanking thee for another opportunity. Lord, I thank you for being using me to share your word this morning. Yes, yes. I hope that someone will turn from their wicked ways. Yes, Lord. And turn their life to Christ. Mm. Father, we pray for St. John's Baptist Church, but not only St. John. We pray for all churches opening all in name. All churches, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, that Speak we continue. The word. Let us be continued to send timber up. Mm. Because one day it's all going to be over. With. Yes, yes. We'll be able to go to that new home mm. where there'll be no more dying. No more dying. No more sickness. Sickness. No more crying. Crying. Hallelujah. Every day. Every will be day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But until that, Lord, that day mm. comes, Lord, keep us yes, Lord. in the hall of your hand. Continue to lead and direct our path. And we'd be so careful to give you the praises. Lord, we thank you for your word this morning. We pray that it helped us, uh, helped someone along the way. So, Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We pray for enemies if we have them. Yes, we pray yes, for those yes. less fortunate than we are. Mm. Because I don't understand all the dynamics of prayer. But one thing I do understand, prayer changes things. Yes, yes. Prayer changed things for me one day. And prayer will change things for you. God get God bless you. God keep you. And may God smile upon your face. We thank you for tuning in. in. Jesus name. We pray that Amen. you have a good day today and a better day tomorrow. And as I always close, I always say 
you pray for me and I'll pray for you. That's the way Christians ought to do. May God bless you. May he keep you. Amen. Amen.